Uh, and we actually make use of analytic Google to help us to analyze a website right, and be able to capture the number of uh, hits as well as the traffic view, traffic conditions, okay, all uh, conveniently being plotted up in the various chart like this. Right, so here we have an example, which is actually a demo account from Google. And you can observe that this is actually a data analysis of a website uh, on this uh, Google merchandise shop. And where is this shop? This is actually the shop, uh, the official Google merchandise store, uh, where you can actually buy a couple of uh, Google's kind of a merchandise which they basically sell online right? and they basically use this platform to at the same time uh, demonstrate the power of uh, Google Analytics which actually monitor the various transactions as people go on to these shops. Okay? For example, they could shop here and they can uh, basically do some purchase or put them in the shopping cart at home. So, for example, they could go uh, to this online store to buy Google buy puzzle at this price, right? as well as this uh, particular kind of uh, bag, recycle bag, okay? or the cap like this and this. So, as you browse, you might click to some of these uh, Tumblr, for example. You might go into shop and you can add into the cart. So, every click along the way on this particular shop are uh, basically being tracked on the analytic Googles, right? So obviously you can also visit the other places just to simulate a few more traffic, right? So you can also shop at the kids store. They have various, various uh, merchandise and then they basically uh, advertise. So you can you go to get a YouTube keyboard sticker, okay, or YouTube pen keychain etc so for all the information that you click over here it is basically captured sometimes even real time over here right so this is actually basically capturing the google merchandise so you can see also over here okay all the various uh, acquisitions uh, reports that being simulated so uh, uh, so far this is about uh, 58,000 users and they can even narrow down to how many uh, users are new first time uh, visitors right and the average time of engagement for each users so you can see there's actually a wealth of information travel information that's being captured by this analytic googles right one minute 38 seconds and how much total value revenues has actually been captured Right, so this has been the quite some of the latest, including what happened yesterday, right, on the twentieth of January two zero two two. You can see, you can even uh, visualize the various uh, uh, time that you want to look at, right? the last thirty days, the last ninety days, okay, and apply the changes, and all this information will be tracked accordingly. Right, so, uh, so you can see the number of users per minute, etc. Okay, so these are the breakdown of the until since May, right? So you can see May 28th. And uh, if you look at across the 90 days, then you have suddenly that's over a cross of 90 days. Okay, from this June to this uh, July period, right? Uh, this is last 28 days, sorry. It's about, this is different. This is 90 days. So you've got a total of even more. 258,000 visitors. Okay, they can even tell you, do analysis that the number of users coming from whether is it a direct uh, click on the website or is it an organic search, which is actually people uh, uh, just simply search okay, for this uh, merchandise or Google, Google merchandise store, right? Uh, without being uh, directed. So this is just a casual search. Or is it a paid search where the Google website okay, has been advertised or is a click through to some other affiliated website? 
right? So you can see a lot of such information, valuable information, and this could be exceptionally even more interesting. Most of the users or visitors are coming from the United States. How many of them, right? Out of the 200 plus, and also the many from China, India, Canada, Germany, etc. So you can see the portions, right? So very intuitive, very clear, and there's also the various line chart to basically show the various user activities, trending activities. They even zoom down right to the the number of weeks of which week is the most active. Okay, uh, how many users has been retained, etc. And also the number of uh, uh, page view. Right, you can see just now we were navigating through the the merchandise, the Google merchandise store uh, here, and there's the home page plus the shopping cart. Uh, so apparently most people actually uh, look at the home page. Right? The second one that's most uh, popular, uh, most visited one are the shopping cart, followed by the Google online store or the main unisex uh, merchandise store, sales store, new appearances. So you can see which are the pages uh, on the website that are popular, uh, that are frequently being visited. So uh, there are a lot more information you guys can actually basically browse through and see. And uh, we see we have any more uh, interesting information like the user demographics. Okay, you can even see the, any demographics overview of the users. Right, so this, uh, you can actually zoom in on the pages, like for example, here. Okay, you can view the countries. and there's some demographic details right so such as the uh, the new uh, engagement rate okay average engagement time Let's see whether i can zoom in on the technical specs Is there anything interesting on the technical specs what can we be is able to gather right so there are also some things like very important information such as uh, the users, the visitors are using, mainly people are actually browsing the website using the desktop. Huh? Uh, second runner is actually a mobile phone, that is tablet. So you can see that by browsing, they are able to find out what devices, okay, what are the popular devices, and with only 23, uh, basically view the website through their smart TV. And even the type of browsers, right? So majorities are usually Chrome browsers, Safari browsers, or Android or any Android browsers, right? Firefox, Ferrari uh, is basically right at the bottom. Okay, and we have got the percentage breakdown of the mobile devices, tablets, and desktop, right? And also the screen resolutions. So that will give you a few of the type of uh, form factors of design on your web store, okay, where most people are actually using the more uh, refined resolutions, the very fine resolutions. So these are some of the very uh, useful information that can allow you to understand your consumer behavior, right? Or what kind of devices they tend to use. So here is another uh, browsers. Uh, over time so you can see every day they basically track down the, the data traffic gather the traffic of how many people what devices and what browsers uh, that is being commonly used right and you can see the number of users uh, across compared to the new users right so these are just some quick comparisons as well as the different uh, browser opera is also being used okay so um, any other details, you can basically look at some of this uh, information and see what you can gather. Uh, so these are users in the last 30 minutes. Uh, so they have visited uh, for the last 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Uh, sorry, last 30 minutes. Yeah, only two users per minute averaging. And 20 actually goes to the home page and how many. Right? So this also gives you the engagement time again. Okay? and other details what others information page screen okay so you guys can actually view through and gather a few more uh, 
important chart that might be useful. So that's about.